All right, this is Crota giving you part three of an interesting replay between Go Erosion, Rook, and Ghost Space here on Terranus Stand. Um, we have atypical Pandarian Brewmaster coming from the Undead player. Meanwhile, we have Blood Mage and Paladin coming from the Human player. So um, Paladin was a Staff of Sanctuary, is currently getting healed by that Staff of Sanctuary buff. Will most likely heal the Blood Mage when he is done. We have a Goblin Shredder um, being used by Erosion Rook. Erosion Rook still sitting at a 31 food army. And 14 of that food is just two heroes and the Goblin Shredder. With a couple of Dragonhawks, those Dragonhawks are now ensnared or webbed and the, unable to escape. Those Dragonhawks will quickly go down. And down goes a Dragonhawk and down goes another Dragonhawk. As the units are going to go ahead and try to be repaired, we do have an on fire um, Goblin Zeppelin hanging out above the top. It is Staff of Sanctuary, so it is going to get healed. We do have. Uh, another knight and we do have a second staff of sanctuary now we have staff of sanctuary on the paladin as well as the blood mage um Pandaria and brewmaster currently sitting at level five perhaps we're going to see level six and see um earth storm and fire i believe that's what it's called i'm going to go ahead and speed up this replay to try to hurry this up a little bit we have a staff of teleportation oh very nicely done staff of teleportation on a shade i wish i didn't speed it up right there and to go ahead and take down all those all those uh, peasants that peasant is going to go ahead and go down as well now we have siphon mana on that pandarian brewmaster the pandarian brewmaster able to get away a little bit breath of fire on that on that um paladin the paladin should probably just holy light that um that blood mage and now try to run away we do have a, another uh, haze uh, so is going to go ahead and holy light the holy light that glass yes he's going to holy light and then staff of sanctuary perhaps no staff of sanctuary the griffin and now the that renegade wizard is going to go ahead and try to run away Ooh, that the paladin has to be careful that paladin is very very low on hit points is, is he going to be able to make it out the goblin zeppelin drops here we do have a staff of teleportation and the blood mage is down to 70 hit points oh and the staff the breath of fire and the blood mage goes down so we we have a a being a being a healed paladin currently and we have a blood mage being revived well that's i, I thought that perhaps that um, blood mage was about to make it but it looked like he just about to teleport and then died um, split second difference right there we do have knights in play now the knights going ahead and try to um, protect and now we have the oh we have arcane sentry and that pandarian brewmaster is getting um getting targeted even though he is invisible nice play by um to reach the arcane arcane site or um i think it's called arcane site something like that you know we do have a shade in the base as well so that shade is gonna go ahead and pr provide sight it looks as though the paladin sold something i couldn't tell quite what and the paladin is now going to go ahead and try to get to level two with some griffin a griffin a two knights and by himself we do, we do have level two on that paladin paladin most likely get, get, getting divine sanctuary and um, we do have an invisible pandarian brewmaster now running to the back of his base um is he going to pick up any additional items it looks like he wants to but he's not quite sure what he wants to shop for um we do have a goblin zeppelin still flying around so very atypical game still what and like to say we have a potion of mana on the pandarian brewmaster so pandarian brewmaster getting some additional mana from um, from the statues we do have a reveal and we and he most likely sees the invisible panda and um, paladin now getting to level level two and um, almost level three so that paladin may become a, a force to be reckoned with if it gets to level three so we, if you have a level three paladin and a level four um blood mage it may be able to counter that level six pandarian brewmaster just a little bit better meanwhile the shade is now just still running around the base both players um ghost base still has plenty of gold in his gold mine and erosion rook does no longer has a gold mine so um I, if i had to call this game i'd say it would be to ghost space but at this point it's still anyone's game here we have the griffins going ahead and trying to get to level three on the pal paladin paladin currently sitting at level three now going to go ahead and try to take down that and that particular unit we do have an ensnare on or web on rojan rook is um, um griffin the griffin is now getting breath of fired and drunken haze it's gonna go ahead and we have uh, no no staff of sanctuary and trying to heal that one griffin that griffin is down to 397 hit points but that holy light was able to save him and forcing the unit to go ahead and run away is that goblin zeppelin gonna stick around no that goblin zeppelin is not gonna stick around uh, no long distance mining though so uh Rojin rook is currently sitting at 41 food army no players really ever going into high keep high upkeep ever blood mage is almost level five i would call i would call but now we have a, a dropping of a cloak of shadows we have a staff of sanctuary on the paladin paladin 
quickly getting healed as well and now we're going to have those units go ahead and run back and um, pandarian brewmaster currently sitting at level six if the blood mage is able to get to level five that that flame strike is going to be much more powerful i'm going to go ahead and speed up the replay just a little bit more again it looks as though he's going to go ahead and creep out this spot i'm going to go ahead and slow it down we have a side hand mana on the pandarian brewmaster pandarian brewmaster unable to use his ultimate ability no way to stun that pandarian brewmaster and those and the Pandir the blood mage is now one more kill away from level level five we do have a staff of sanctuary coming down and on that pen on that paladin paladin was able to staff a, a staff a teleport to get here we have a pumping of mana from the blood mage to the paladin and i'm gonna go ahead and speed up the game a little bit more we have statues coming into play um the statues coming into play knights trying to come in and it's gonna go ahead and try to fly it up it looks as those dragon hawks are trying to run run to the back and it looks as those knights are going to be able to counter those uh, counter very well we now get the pandarian brewmaster currently taking some additional damage knight very well played and staffed out of that position but it looks as though the the goblin shredder is going to go down uh, the goblin and now we're going to go ahead and try to see that taking down some units it looks as though the the blood mage is taking a good amount of damage but able to be healed another staff of preservation on another unit i believe it was another knight and another fiend goes down so it looks as though both both units are taking a very good amount of damage we have trying to trying to pump mana pumping mana to that blood mage blood mage now uh, able to be healed by that paladin so very very nice energy there and it looks as though those units are we going to have another more siphon mana i'm not quite sure at this point it looks as though that pa paladin wants that wants that last unit nice staff of, or nice holy light one more time it looks as though that a knight is going to go down so still staff of sanctuary is still on cooldown taking some additional units they're just uh, we have a level five and a level three paladin trying to take down those units and it looks as though that um that rojin rook is able to do a very good amount of damage against that one paladin that paladin or that pandarian brewmaster that brewmaster does have a potion of invulnerability though so i don't know how quite how effective that's going to be um it looks as though the paladin is down to um, 20 mana so it should probably get yeah, it's going to have to pull back away at this point giving giving some additional mana to the paladin paladin's going to turn around heal and perhaps Against St Staff of Sanctuary. No, Staff of Sanctuary is still on cooldown. Oh, the, the Paladin will get Staff of... Yeah, is be able to get Staff of Sanctuary out. Wow, the um, Pandarian Brewmaster currently sitting at 200 hit points. If he's not careful, that, that Knight is going to be able to take him down, but uh, it looks as though the Blood Mage is also low on hit points as well. We have some flying units coming out of nowhere now to try to take down that Pandarian Brewmaster. The Pandarian Brewmaster taking a good amount of damage down to 183 hit points and is going to go ahead and escape. Wow, what a interesting play so far now we have the the blood mage now um unwisely trying to go after some additional some creeps even and now we have some ghouls coming into play we ha do have a goblin zeppelin trying to fly overhead this is at 2x speed i don't think i'm gonna be able to get this into into three parts so i'll apologize and i'll just continue to watching that at this 1x speed now we have the paladin back in play fully healed um blood mage currently sitting at 600 hit points is most likely going to get holy lighted by that paladin in just a second and we'll have maximum hit points once again we do have griffins and um dragon hawks and knights for um, the paladin as well but this is this is turning out to be an interesting game both players are now out of gold and they're the undead player is now trying to unsummon now, we do have a flame strike and it looks as though that paladin is trying to get some additional hit points but this may be a bad creep track we have a breath of fire and we have very very low knights on the field one two staff of sanctuaries and i and we do have a staff or uh, we do have a divine sanctuary and it looks as though that um blood mage is getting slowed by that single a uh, frost room that single frost room uh, spelling trouble for for that unit we have a do we do have a flame strike and that flame strike trying units trying to get away and paladin most likely going to try to heal the blood mage yes get the heal off and is able to go ahead and pull back uh, stay tuned for part four of this replay and the conclusion in just a bit